starting today, RVs and trailers will no longer be allowed to park in McMinnville City Parks. The city's Parks and Recreation Department says it's been experiencing an increase over the last year. In large vehicles taking up more than one spot. That increase has been seen in East Wortman and Joe Dancer Park. K2's Ricardo Lewis joins us live from McMinnville. So Ricardo, have you seen any RVs or trailers in the park today? There haven't been any RVs or trailers in this parking lot here at the park today, but what we have seen are these signs posted around the park saying uh, the new parking rule change. Where you can find those RVs and trailers is just right up the road up here. We like to shoot us with, uh, on a daily basis, pretty much. A camping is prohibited notice placed on the RV. Brian Eddington hangs out in during the day with friends he's made while being homeless for the last year. It's parked on Marsh Lane, just up the street from Joe Dancer Park. As of right now, we're forced to uh, park on city streets, and we have no more than 72 hours in one place. His typical routine would be to move the RV from the street to the park and spend the day where he has access to restrooms. It was amazing that in the very beginning. Now RVs and trailers are banned in McMinnville City Parks after complaints of them taking up too much space. When you drive through here, there will be 20, 25 vehicles in the park. Susan Muir is the Parks this and Recreation Director and says the parks aren't designed to accommodate oversized vehicles. Youth programs will start this weekend and the city wants to make sure there are parking spots available. We started watching it about a year ago and we noticed that um, the numbers were increasing. Muir says the city was also fielding questions about safety concerns. A couple of vehicles were towed or brought into a park that were sort of abandoned, um, and we, we, those are hazards for us. We don't want those kinds of vehicles in our park. For these people living on the side of the street, they say there's just nowhere else to go. It really feels like they kind of just rallied us all up here, and now they're just shooting fish in a barrel. Now, I asked if this ban had anything to do with the Oregon state law that required cities to update their camping ordinances by July 1st, and they say it has nothing to do with it. We're live in McMinnville. Ricardo Lewis, K2 News. Ricardo, thank you.